And that's the player introductions completed. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. Time to start the weekend in style. We welcome you to Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Allie LaForce courtside. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the best shooting big men the game has ever seen. But he says, everyone knows me for shooting, but you can't be one-dimensional. For this team to grow, I have to grow as well. I've got to get better as a leader and help my teammates play better as well. Yeah, they're making strides, Allie, no question. Here are the five for the Lakers. They've got D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Davis. And then it's Malik Beasley, and it's James in at the three. And for Minnesota, filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Conley in at the one spot. the Lakers and here's Russell six to shoot oh he took a hard foul on the shot so he'll head to the line to shoot a pair and what has made D'Lo a max player? He puts constant pressure on the defense. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had a lot of big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. First one falls for him. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. Both shots good from the strike. And here's Minnesota now. Outside Edwards. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. McDaniels can't hit. Russell against Conley. James, right side. And the shot goes in. LeBron. And ladies James. and gentlemen, if you were wondering what it's like playing against LeBron, it is not fun. He's too big, he's too strong, and just gets the contact and the three. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Lakers ahead, up by four. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Here they come, now headed to the floor. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. Here's Edwards. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Walker is the two with LeBron playing the three. Rui Hachimura is out there with Davis. And it's Schroeder in at the point. Now here's Edwards. James with the block. And Brown with the block. Look, the shooters are working hard, but he is all over the It's good. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Here's Noel, after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Outside, Anderson. It's Edwards on the wing. Back to Anderson. Five on the clock. The 
Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Puts it up. Hachimura with a rebound. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And he lobs it up top! And Davis <laughs> slams it home! And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. That's and so it's the Los Angeles Lakers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Carl, they're scoring pretty easily. What has to change in the second half? Our whole defense is just right now because it's just not working. It's not the coaches, it's just the players. Letting them get too much fast break. Uh, they're doing a great job and uh, they're hitting some shots, so we got to be able to make them miss. Best of luck locking it in, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. Looking at the Lakers, Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every possession count. And Kenny, how about you? What did you see from the Timberwolves? Whatever they're trying to do on offense, it ain't working. If they have any chance of coming back in this one, they're going to have to be more methodical in their approach. Talent without discipline will never result in sustained success. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Conley in at the point. So that's the Timberwolves five. Now here's Conley. Back to Edwards. Just five to shoot. McDaniels from long range. Doesn't go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. Next up, they'll take on the Rockets at Toyota Center. That's game three of five on their current trip away from home. Just enough resistance to force them as barely. That's one he'll generally make. Shot is good by Edwards. And that ends their drought. You can feel the frustration building with each miss. Yeah, not the start that they wanted. But maybe that basket was all they needed to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. They're trying to come back in this game. No, bottom line, it's about energy and effort. Exemplified by a possession like that. James, left side. McDaniels with some nice D. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Back to the game after this break. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And the Lakers, looking at who they've got. They've got Lonnie Walker. Also, Jared Vanderbilt out there, and it's Gabriel in at center, locking down the middle. Here's Reeves. Pass to Gabriel. And that's an intentional foul. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too.
Here's Reeves. No good on the quick three. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Russell against Conley. Here's Prince. Off target from outside. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers, D'Angelo Russell taking two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And Minnesota calls time here. They're behind by seven. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Wolf fans, you know them, you love them. Here they are, your Minnesota Timberwolves dancers. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Outside, Brown. So we see the Lakers get the win here. That's the end of the they game. played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.